What is up, gamers? Welcome to another Dash Mystery Race for the Dash Mystery Tournament. We've got a banger race here between the one, the only, the guy who keeps beating Oats and Goats and Matt Brando, Nitro, versus the last remaining Scott in the Super Metroid community, Fat Scott 25. I am Derp, joined by Cuppo with three Ps. How are you feeling, Cuppo? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing tonight, Derp? Doing fantastic. All right. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this. Really excited to see how these settings play out. We've seen a wide variety so far in the tournament. Anything you're hoping for in particular? Um. Well, after watching some of the races earlier, I'm hoping for not another <laughs> full countdown vanilla map. I, uh... Although, I will say, I do a lot of practice with Nitro specifically, and he does some fun things in Full Countdown that I think may be fun to see if that is the settings, but obviously we'll see. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm rooting for either a Major Minor or a Chozo, and definitely Area Rando. I'd like to see a surprise seed. We've definitely seen a few throughout the tournament, but they're not super common the percentage is quite low all right it looks like we're off oh boo full countdown um you can tell that straight away by seeing uh, the items in the hud but we're seeing four e-tanks in criteria and three majors that's i mean that's a pretty decent number to be posting up there straight away yep three majors of course one of them has to be morph ball so really more like two yeah. majors but four e-tanks is definitely nice especially if they're able to find most of them early on just having that much health in the early game is actually really nice to have especially if it is area and they're forced to go into like a norfair or something similar yeah you don't want to be trying to do two tank hell runs you know from like chronic boost to bubble mountain that's a uh, that's pretty precise uh, so having a little, or any extra padding on that is always a, a definite plus. Early Plasma, though, is what we're seeing at the pedestal. Yeah, speaking of nice items to have early, that Plasma Beam will make a lot of the later game areas a lot easier. So potentially if they're able to find an early suit, we may see a more aggressive, like lower Norfair or East Meridia play. Just able yeah. to deal with all of the enemies in those areas. I think for Lower Norfair as well, being able to, it, there's a lot of strats involved in getting through some of the uh, key hunters that are particularly useful there as well. So it could, could make something interesting. I'm going to be curious to see if we find any power bombs though, to go ahead and check uh, this meme route portal. Uh, if that is area, that's definitely great knowledge to have because you're most likely not coming down here anytime soon again and uh if it's not that's always a fun strat to see how people handle like coming back from those side hoppers there is a power like bomb it. all right so nitro's got 94 health he could take one hit from the side hopper but fat scott well uh, it does 80 damage pretty... they can both take a hit but uh, if it's a heated yeah, room was... and scott takes a hit uh, okay. can be... i thought it was 90 for some reason now it's 80. We're actually seeing Fat Scott go back for Billy Mays. With and the one, reason I talked about it early, um, yeah. I, I talked about doing a bunch of practice with Nitro. He like spiked an important item at Billy Mays in full countdown practice races, like three or four races in a row against me. Wow. Like I think once it was speed, once it was required stupors, and a couple people in the race had to go back for it. Oh, so. Wow. I'm kind of surprised, a little disappointed he's not going for it in the official race, as we do find super missiles, but not the required supers, since there was another one behind Morph. They'll both have supers, but I think having that Nitro, having that uh, portal knowledge of its... that it's uh, essentially the uh, crab hole, definitely good. Although there is a pretty free way to check that, should they find Main Street with uh, one of the portals that like we added in the dash randomizer, but that's definitely a much more efficient way of uh, finding that. Yeah, technically Fat Scott can opt to check this portal, and because it's crab hole, he can't farm the crab for power bombs to get out, but 
It's a little bit slow. Only one of the crabs is easily farmable, so you might need to reset the room a couple times. Yeah. And it looks like he's just going to bail. Yeah, so, I mean, I would I have do the, the same knowledge. thing. I would do the same thing with, like, one power bottle left. Um, but we are going to... I wonder how many other checks we're going to be making here in Criteria, or if this is now just, like, a race for portal knowledge, and that's the cleanup game here. Yeah, only one more major in Criteria. It can't be a suit at Criteria, so... It won't be a huge item, but still could be an ice or speed or charge beam, which it's worth noting that we do have vanilla charge in these settings as well. Since you can yeah. see the number, it is the full charge damage, so there's no starter charge that would have 150 with just plasma. There's our first of the four E-tanks. We'll see how many Nitro wants to search for. You can't do a whole lot. Obviously can't check Gauntlet. Does need to go refill power bombs before he can actually continue though, so we'll see which direction he decides to continue from there. Yeah, I think if you do end up going to the left, that's got you're able to go ahead and check what the items are that would be in the back of Gauntlet. Go ahead and get uh, one more item and then make two portal checks. Going to the right, you need to go ahead and uh, perform a CWJ in order to get across. That's the only way we can do that at the moment. But you would get uh, one extra minor item, so it'll be interesting to see which way they decide to go. There is technically a goofy single bomb jump that you can do with a power bomb across moat. I've seen Aussie and I think Solsky practicing it, but it's definitely not common rando tech and not something you want to rely on if you don't have to, especially since CWJ is right there. Yeah, I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure both these players have CWJ in their pocket pretty easy. But we'll see what this Terminator item is. A little bit surprised Nitro didn't go to check 230. I believe neither runner has checked it. I think they both had zero power bombs when they passed up on it. Yeah, I, I think they're just going to isolate it. Yeah, I mean, that's just the unfortunate reality of having just one power bomb pack uh, at that time. But let's we can go ahead and maybe scope what's up a gauntlet. Great, what's in the back of gauntlet, at least up on Nitro's screen. Well, it looks like Fat Scott is going ahead and checking 230. I didn't happen to see what those items were, though, at the back of gauntlet. It was an E-tank and a missile, so the second of our four E-tanks here at Criteria. Just the missile pack at 230 for Fat Scott. Well, Nitro goes ahead and finds the um, Meridia escape portion of uh, Red Brin. That's a great connection to have Red Brin being one of like the biggest connectors in uh, all of uh, the game. And we are seeing there's two majors here. Considering there's only five items, that's definitely great. Goes straight into the side hopper room and pulls out bombs. Yeah, I think with two majors, in this area and three checks up here with the alpha and beta power bombs we're probably going to see nitro check both of these and then we'll see if he wants to go up the elevator first or if he wants to go back and check the criteria portal i would be surprised either way and obviously it feels kind of bad if you want to follow either one yeah i would say i'd imagine we'd... oh there's space jump okay wow so both items on the right side i mean that was the what was statistically bound to happen, but that's got to feel great for Nitro. Although Fat Scott's probably going to be coming up on this quite shortly. And it There's looks like where the other side is. It's Craig with zero. So I imagine we get a save here, just kind of scout a little bit of knowledge on like what the boss shuffle or what the boss mode could be, whether it's like shuffle shift and surprise, or I guess we won't be able to tell if it's surprise. Um, and hopefully it's just the boss he can kill. Meanwhile, Nitro going ahead and taking that elevator up before going through the rest of Criteria. Yeah, um, so if you don't know what the boss shuffle is, when you find your first boss, it's a... I believe it's a 65% chance that it's beatable if it's in Wreckship or Kraid's Lair, because there's a 30% chance it's vanilla, and then a 50% chance that it's not vanilla and it's either Crate or Fantoon, if that makes sense. Makes and so sense. 30 plus, you know, half of 70 is 35, so that comes out to 65%. So about a 2 in 3 chance that it's beatable, and looks like it pays off as we find a Fantoon. 
And we can see that in the HUD, it still says Kraid, which is the location we found it at. So we are looking at like a shifted or a surprise. Yep. Also means the uh, Kraid E tank is able to be checked after this, although with no majors and no E tanks, it probably won't be too useful, but it could be a second power bomb pack or more supers. So I wouldn't. I would expect both runners to go ahead and check it afterwards. I think if anything, it's like a decent power bomb refill, depending on what Fantoon drops as well, right? Yep, there are enemies in there, four of them, that almost always drop power bombs. So, right, good nice way to get up to full. From Fat Scott, Nitro just behind him a little bit. I think it was a three round, but with fast, still a quick fight for Fat Scott though. There's too much stimulus happening at once. It's hard to uh, it's hard for me to keep up on this. All right, three round. Ooh, takes a big hit from Minicrate. That does a hundred damage with no suit, by the way. People have died to it before in races. Shoutouts to our boy Toasty Toast. I don't think he plays Super Metroid anymore, but. If you died to mini crate, would you discuss? <laughs> I think I remember watching a Fat Scott race one time where he died off of uh, trying to de boost off of uh, what was it? Like the uh, those like little electric things in Fantine's room, or not in Fantine and Bray. The right? turrets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that. I will not lie. Not in a race though. So I've got that going for me at least. Another solid three round from Nitro. Fat Scott now going to do his Red Tower, opting to do the Crates Lair first. I'm not 100% sure if it was the correct decision to do that instead of going for the items in Red Tower, but the routing works out a little bit better for Fat Scott, so he's actually going to gain a little bit of time over Nitro. Yeah, and then I think on Nitro's side, I think Nitro's either going to... I would be interested to see if he's going to go check the other portals in Criteria. Uh, I would or be surprised. Red, Tower. Red Tower's got three extra portals there, like right there, pretty close. Or no, four extra portals, like close yeah, to Yeah, five down. even, because he can check two. It's not in logic without high jump, but it's still pretty easy. I mean, yeah, that's like, that's too good to pass up. So Fat Scott's gonna find his bombs, soon to go find his space jump. Won't need to worry about any X-ray shenanigans. And Nitro is going back through Criteria. Yeah, proving me wrong. He can check the Criteria power bomb if he wants to really start hunting for this last major. But I would imagine that Nitro doesn't do that. Yeah, I think it's too early and there's still too much available. It's like spending that much time on that check just isn't going to be worth it yet. And it looks like... Oh, it wouldn't be too bad. I don't know. We'll That's, see. That's going back as well. I think maybe they're thinking that they'll more than likely run into, because there's so many other portals, they'll run into one of them at the end of Criteria. Did either one check the green burn, or the red burn elevator? Yeah, the red burn elevator leads to Aqueduct. Right, and who checked it? Ooh, nice spring ball for Nitro. Uh, Nitro checked it. He checked it on this for like first go around. Um, okay. Right after collecting space jump. So that's a second portal that Nitro knows about that Scott does leads, not. Then is that moat leading to red burn? That works out so great. And it clears out all those Criteria Majors picking up Spring Ball there. So let's see what's down here. At this, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> technically Nitro would have gotten the same information if he just went down Red Tower. Yeah. But obviously he couldn't know that's what was going to happen. Alright, so we're getting Green Brain, brain but... 1 too. Yeah, only one. Not the best payout of all time. And not even that many E-Tanks. Yeah, well, while only we're seeing this... Yeah, what we're seeing is sort of like um, not as powerful green brain as one would hope. Fat Scott's going ahead and checking landing site PBs, hoping this is going to pay off. 
It could be. A well, if it's tank, a new tank, actually, that second power bomb is pretty big, potentially. Yeah, yeah I mean, we'll, have, well, well, the one major we just found in Green Brain is gravity, uh, up on Nitro's screen. But yeah, I agree. Oh. Uh, watch out. <laughs> All right, out. he's okay. I don't know if he saved before doing this. So it's a good thing he made it out. Yeah, yeah. I do think that um, that second power bomb back is definitely like important. It can be a pain going through those, but you know, having bombs obviously mitigates some of that a little bit. Yeah, bombs and spring ball both make it a little bit better, but still nice to have. And we'll see what Nitro decides to do. Finding one of the two E tanks and gravity. <laughs> There's his second power bomb pack. Okay, I don't guys. like the okay, gauntlet check gauntlet. here from Scott. I feel like he's doing a little bit too much in Criteria. Obviously, we have the knowledge that um, the major item is at mode. And also, I don't think Scott checked the back of gauntlet like Nitro did. So a little bit of information paying off for Nitro there. Yeah, I mean, this could pay off to end up being E-Tanks, which, you know, could be required in some way. It might make some Hell Runs a little bit easier, but I still think, yeah, like, I, like, going through making it to Green Brand is definitely what you want to be doing. Um, criteria checks just in general tend to be super long, but Fats, or Nitro's gone ahead, cleaned up there, and I think he's going to go back and check uh, what the rest of Red Brin has to offer for connections. Yeah, that was what I was getting to before I got kind of distracted by Scott going for this gauntlet play. I was wondering how Nitro would play that green brin, if he would try to like continue for the bottom two portals or if he would just bail. And it looks like he opted He's to bail. Up. Potentially going for an aggressive aqueduct play? I mean, that would be a very aggressive aqueduct play. I think we saw it was two or three is the count for East Meridia. But with no bots wound access other than doing like a CF clip, and this isn't really the kind of ammo you want to be doing a CF clip on. Yeah, you not the ammo, like and he didn't go for the power bomb refills, but he does have bombs. I didn't see how many majors were in East Meridia, so I assume there's a few given that Nitro is making the decision to go straight there. And there was like two or three. Yep, three. Yeah, probably see Nitro Snail Clip for the two in Aqueduct, and then Save Scum the Sand Pits? No, he's going straight and... Sand Pit. Okay, this makes sense, because he, he checks the Sand Pit, and then it leads him to the right side of Aqueduct, where he can check the items there more efficiently, and then potentially check the other Sand Pit if he still has outstanding majors. Alright, well, let's see what we got at the Sand Pit. Oh. Another, Another PV pack. I mean, definitely useful. We will not say no to it, especially if Nitro does want to commit to going straight through. No, Fat Scott's got a spring ball. Maybe a little bit upset that he did so much in Criteria before finding it, but at least he'll get led to Green Brinstar in that gravity suit. Only yeah, a little exactly. bit behind Nitro. It's a pretty significant health lead as well. He's going to have four tanks once he checks the Brinsa Reserve. Nice double super drop there from the fish. Alright, so I'm guessing here is what you're saying. We're going to see a little snail clip action. Yep. Going to go for the slightly faster one, but doesn't look like he got it. There we go. That's a high jump. Okay. That's pretty nice. That's, that's definitely a great item to be having. And then we'll see what's over here in the back. Just a missile. Now, here's where I'd expect Nitro to save. Probably check the right sand pit, and if it's nothing, just reset and potentially go for the clip. No, I'm not going to save. Pit. It's just going straight into the sand pit. This is a pretty aggressive play, I think. But. I mean, it could pay off. And then, yeah. yeah, the fact that he's stopping ahead. here to farm power bombs definitely tells me he is looking for a potential CF clip. There's a wave beam. So two nice items, but nothing you're really looking for here in this East Meridia. 
I mean, I feel like if you if I'm in nitrous, I'm really looking for a speed or a nice. I mean, if he's comfortable doing the CF clip, which I'm pretty sure he is, then you're really just looking for charge more than anything, or Varia. Yeah, we'll see how Nitro decides to play this. As he misaligns the sandpit transition a bit. Don't worry about that, though. We do see Fat Scott, meanwhile, uh, going down Green Bryn. Probably not checking too many items, just checking the ones that are in room here in Big Pink. But yeah, gonna get I think you just collect whatever's down here. here. Yeah, you just collect whatever's down here and you just go straight for the portals and hope you get something really good like an upper north air. There are three supers in this room, actually. That's a lot of a lot of ammo here for Scott. Gonna be nice to have, especially if charge is hidden somewhere. Yeah, it definitely puts it a little bit of an ammo advantage, but again if with that like wave pickup, if we go ahead and we do find charge, that's definitely gonna pay out pretty big for Nitro. Alright, and it looks like we're going for a CF clip. Alright, here it is. West Meridia 2 on Red Fish. So, um, let's see. I probably would have checked the other portal first before jumping down, but I guess two majors in West Meridia is an interesting proposition here. Alright, Nitro's going for it. More supers. Nice. All right. Second try. Here's the CF. That was pretty quick. It's definitely, depending on how this pans out, it's going to be great for Nitro. What would the worst case scenario for a boss be here for Nitro, though? Ridley. I mean, Ridley, no question. Yeah. Every other boss is fairly trivial. Dragon will maybe take a while, especially if Nitro doesn't farm. But if it's Ridley here, then he really can't do it. Yeah, that also gonna say that was a very nice one round on uh, Box Boom there. And let's see what we got up here. Just more Another super. It's still just not enough health for Ridley, even with enough ammo. So, yeah, Nitro really needs to hope it's not Ridley, because if it is, he's in trouble. Meanwhile, Fat Scott searching for the two items in West Meridia. Yeah, going ahead and searching beach. So, to answer Are chat, just... the Kraid item, their speed booster. Or, oh, not wow. Kraid item. The Kraid boss was Fantoon, so Nitro knows it's not vanilla bosses. Sure, are you going to save up here? Or are we just going full on aggression? Right. No, he's not going to save. Which, to be fair, I kind of like the decision to not save. Because um, if it is Ridley, like you kind of just want to reset out of the area. But I don't remember where Nitro's last save was. I think that's the only thing I'm concerned about is where is that last save. All right, it it's not like Ridley. Looks like he's bailed out. Okay. okay. Is great. Look at that. Well, this Nitro. rounding works out pretty good for Nitro then. Let's see where Fat Scott's gonna take Crab Shaft to. There's the bottom, bottom of Red of Tower. Red I expect Scott to just check all these portals and probably go back into West Meridia to look for that last major, but you could prove me wrong. There are three in Upper Norfair, so I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to check at least the front few items. I think this is a C business center, do business center, especially with like a zero in wreck ship. Yeah. No, I'm gonna Scott's go for actually going to check it at least. Maybe just going to go ahead and try to see if this is an E-Tank and hope that that's going to cut down on some hell running. If it's an E-Tank, you can actually fight any boss pretty comfortably with this many supers. Uh, five tank Ridley isn't super comfortable, but it's not bad, especially for a runner of Scott's caliber. Ridley's room and is heated. To answer chat. It's the sauna. But um, even if he spiked a power bomb pack, then he could just get an easy CF clip here. Or not CF clip, but just be able to crystal flash and hope not have to go ahead and farm up him with a bunch of health. Which if he's going to consider doing some of the hell runs. I mean, to be honest, given that he just picked up speed booster, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, 
Well, there's, well, there's a Z tank. tank. So, yeah, any boss is doable for Scott, but Ridley definitely requires good execution. Nitro doing the slow journey to the front of, or the back of East Meridia, rather. See what we got on Scott's side, and it looks like yeah, there's Ridley. He's gonna go for it. He can't really afford to take any more than one hit from Ridley. Even one hit is a little bit scary. Is the hit? It was. I think yeah, that was it's it. probably too too late now. Yeah, Scott. <laughs> Yeah, just going straight. Without high jump, it's really hard to dodge around Ridley. And doesn't have the screw attack that Nitro has either. Which would Nitro going ahead and finding Croc's entrance into um Upper North here though, through that back of East Meridia. Definitely uh definitely a great place to go ahead and be, especially with like three. Although he does have some pretty low health, but with space jump, he should be able to make it across into business center just fine. He'll be able to make it into business center for sure. We'll see what he's able to find. We'll also see if Scott wants to give this Ridley another go. Going to pick up that E-Tank, of course, but could opt to just go do business center. I think with three business center, and especially knowing there's a couple tanks in there, I would just go ahead and at least try to get some of the tanks, and then you can come back and do it again, especially with Wreck Ship having zero. Well, here's a tank and a couple majors here at high jump. Got the ice and the grapple beam for Nitro. Yeah, I think that just... I mean, this is this is working out really well for Nitro, routing-wise and efficiency-wise. Two bosses in at 25 minutes, and then he's about to be able to be in place for his third, although, again, like not really oh. enough energy for it, but assuming he picks up a couple more E-tanks. I mean, or he'll have is here. four in theory, if he just goes straight there, which is barely enough. But like I mentioned, does have that high jump and that screw attack to make dodging Ridley's attacks a little bit easier. So it it could be possible, but it is really hard. Aside from Varya, we could potentially see Heat Shield. That could be one of the items included. Heat Shield would um, be really nice. Make, yeah, Heat Shield would make it uh, more possible. Nitro actually bailed. Uh, didn't even check ice or crumble shaft. Just took Please. the two items at high jump and left. I imagine Nitro's going to go ahead and check this portal, but then go ahead and maybe check some of the other red brin portals at this like crate entrance uh, to the upper north pair leads to. But then I imagine you're going straight back to go ahead and try to find like what's at wreck ship. Well. That's an icy tank there for Scott. I think for Nitro, seeing two items in West Meridia, I would expect him to go look for them because there aren't a lot of items left. He's seen so many. So the odds of one of them being Varia is really high. And even if it's not Varia, if he finds like a charge beam, that's huge as well. Which means he doesn't need to worry about any more ammo for the rest of the game, basically. True. I mean, everything that's outstanding is definitely uh, pretty wanted at this point from his side, except for Spacer. And I mean, X-ray wouldn't be the greatest thing to pick up, but you wouldn't. I wouldn't turn your nose up at it. <laughs> Scott actually looped back into business center. Funny enough, he didn't check Croc escape, so he's going to do that now and receive the not great news. <laughs> Nitro also receiving the bad news that both Ice and Speed were both accessible fairly close to where uh, East Meridia ended up being. Yeah, but I mean, I also feel like the CF clip didn't take that long, so it's it wasn't like there was like a big time sink there. Um, but yeah, obviously it's typically a lot faster to just go with the uh, intended or... Yeah, intended items. Alright, we'll see how Nitro wants to check this. Looks like he's just mainly looking for portals. He's gonna find 
Green Bryn. I believe this is Green Hill Zone. Uh, we'll see if he wants to stay in West Meridia. Looks like he does. There's definitely merit in checking the other portal in that area. I think you kind of saw Nitro thinking about it. Yeah, or maybe yeah. just making sure he picked up the drops. Alright. Meanwhile, Fat Scott making his way over to um, Bubble Mountain. And let's see what's in here. Uh, he wants whatever, whatever's over here. I don't think it was a major. Oh, it was. That's that's definitely the worst case scenario right there. Yeah, so one major left to see. And there aren't a lot of options left. It's either Varia X-Ray Charge or one of the Dash exclusive items. There well, there's is Varia Mama Turtle in the wall. The Varia suit at Mama Turtle. We'll see how Nitro decides to route this. He knows where Wreckship is. So it, I wouldn't blame him for just going straight there. I think he checks Main Street Portal first, though. Yeah. What, what portal knowledge are we missing? We haven't seen Turian, Turian yet, have we? Yeah, we haven't seen Turian. We haven't seen either side of LN. Or, missing or back we, of ship. We, I think we just saw LN um, on Scott's screen. Okay, so Main oh. Street does lead there. Um, I think it was single chamber that led to, yeah, uh, front of Lower North there. Um, I don't think we've seen Tube, have we? No, I don't think we have either. So we're Our missing Chronicles. Tube, Bottom of Green Brinstar, Back of Lower Norfair, and Back of Wreckship. Across both runners. Obviously, neither runner has full knowledge. But that's what we're looking at so far. Wait, no, we're missing Croc as well, right? Yeah, yeah we are missing Croc. I haven't seen that yet. So maybe we're going to go see Tube Check right now. Yeah. Right. What, what did Nitro just see at Main Street? Didn't he just go check it? Yeah, it was Turian. Oh, right. I'm losing my mind. No, I mean, I, I find tracking super difficult for these. Okay, so Tube is um, the uh, Green Brinstar exit. Meanwhile, yeah. Fat Scott's going to go ahead and give us what a uh, Chronic Boost leads to. Yep, Chronic Boost was the last portal we're missing, and it is back of LN. So, Croc is at the back of ship. Probably won't be seeing that. Although Nitro might check it, just because he doesn't know where Lord Norfair is yet. And he's gonna receive some bad news when he does. Although, how many items were in LN? Was it zero? I think it was zero. Well, Croc has charged then. <laughs> Worth noting. So that's the so, only item left, or the only area left with items. It's got charge and x ray, and potentially a heat shield or double jump, which are not particularly useful for. at least for Nitro. Yeah, so I mean, one of the other things for. Nitro is just how he's going to go ahead and route this. Um, I mean, I think seeing Ridley here is going to feel pretty good. Um, but he's just got one more boss to kill. Yeah, one more boss to kill, and he knows where Turian is. He just needs to find that boss and find a little bit more ammo or charge to kill Mother Brain. We're actually looking at a very fast seed, potentially, because Nitro's able to find it quickly. The interesting part is uh, whether or not Nitro decides to fight Croc if he goes to check it. And if he goes to check it at all, since he doesn't know any of the Bubble Mountain portals, he doesn't know Chronic or Single Chamber, so he might not even go to the back of ship, he might just go straight down to Norfair. 
Yeah, I can which see would that thing. Kind of be the god route, because it goes straight to LN. He just needs to find a bit more ammo on the way. Only gonna check left super, not gonna check right. I mean, this makes sense. There's like zero. He's not really concerned about E tanks at this point. Just wants to really kind of collect like any kind of ammo as possible, just so that he can end route this like as quickly as possible. Yeah, I might have been inclined to check right supers, but if he's actually going straight to Bubble Mountain, which it looks like he is, there are a lot of checks there. Like, I wouldn't be surprised to see Nitro do a, um, a reserve check because there's three fairly quick items there that all could be ammo. Yeah, and I think especially since he doesn't have, it's like those two portals as well. Like, just being able to knock those out at the same time like is definitely going to be pretty beneficial. And it looks like that's where we're going. Yeah. Not gonna bother with backer ship, makes the correct play. Yeah, I will say Nitro's definitely made some gambles this seed, and it's uh it's been everything's coming up nitro. But going through this to get the miner, is that what we're doing? <laughs> sure looks like it. Yeah, I don't think this play is too much of a gamble. I would maybe argue that back of ship is even more, because if you you know it's a lot slower and there's only one portal. If it's nothing, then you're really sad. But yeah. you know, I think the the early East Meridia with no guarantee that it's not Ridley there. Uh, definitely a really I mean, interesting that's a play. Really, that's a really risky play, but it paid off really well. Yeah, it just gave him a great route through the rest of the game. I'm gonna check this item, find his spacer beam. Says nine Donka. So the interesting thing here, he's actually gonna go check the reserve now. He's gonna find front of LN here at single chamber. Does he go to check Chronic? Because I don't think he does. Yeah, I don't really think. He's skipping the other items in there as well. Ah, uh, that's bold. Maybe he's thinking LN will go ahead, since he hasn't seen it, it'll have one of the other items, like, in, as a major, and he'll be able to just check along the way, and then he can come back and pick up some miners if he needs to. I mean, LN has a pretty decent amount of miners as well. But yeah, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. The thing uh, is, Nitro, because he doesn't know some of the slower checks, like, he doesn't know that... he doesn't know where back of LN is, he might be more inclined to do a front-to-front -front LN. But that would be a little bit sad because he would isolate all of the all of the checks at the back of LN that could be more ammo. Yeah. I guess he knows everything except for Chronic, and I don't know if he knows. I think he knows bottom of Green Bryn. No, he knows bottom of Green Bryn. I think we got total Green Bryn knowledge now from both runners. Yeah, so from his mind, back of LN could be uh, back of ship, which is not very good, chronic, which is really good, and croc, which is kind of devastating. And I wonder with those odds, if you're just going to play it safe and go back through the front of LN and skip yeah. all of the checks and escape. So, I mean, here's a question. How do you think both of these runners are feeling at the moment? I mean, we're 37 minutes in, where, at least for Nitro, you're like three bosses down on your way to the last boss, and you know exactly where you need to go. You're just sort of like looking for ammo. Fat Scott's still like two bosses down. Um, I mean, not doing like bad by any means, but, you know, obviously still looking for Varia. How do you think each of these runners are feeling? I think Nitro feels great right now. You know, he'd made the huge play in East Meridia. It worked out. It led him straight to the rest of the game, basically. Maybe the speed, or the speed in ice made him a little bit hesitant, but I would imagine Nitro's feeling good. I don't think Fat Scott is feeling that bad, though. He's played smart and fairly safe and just 
Unfortunately, wasn't able to find that Varia. But I think he's about to get back to it. So once he finds the Varia, he might be a little sad because he was in that area and just didn't find it. Yeah, I mean, that was a... I mean, Mama Turtle can definitely be slow. So I understand. Yeah, like, he had gravity level. and I think he I... had space jump as well. Yeah, but I don't think he went and checked like the bottom portals, did he? Like he didn't check. No, speed. he checked. He checked crab super, and he checked the uh, watering hole items, and then the, went out through the pre aqueduct portal. It's actually going up to redfish. I think it was a little bit slower to get back to. It. West Meridia, but not too big of a deal. So isn't there isn't there a connection in Red Burn? Yeah, I forget which one it is though. I think I think Pre Aqueduct connected to Crade, like Crade entry, and then above Crade was um, Upper Norfair, right? I don't know. The whole little area of portals I was not paying super close attention to. Yeah, I mean, it's like almost 1 a.m. for me. It's uh, keeping that stuff in my mind is, uh, this is not the right time for it. <laughs> I don't have that but. excuse. It's 8 p.m. It's still early evening. Oh, nice. All right, well, Fat Scott's about to grab his various suit right here. Yeah, now mm -hmm. he might start feeling a little bad. Yeah. But... All right, with the high jump was, or the high jump uh, grapple kill there on the quick one on Dragon on Nitro's side. Meanwhile, yeah. Fat Scott's gonna go ahead and make a beeline to go ahead and get some more progression. I'm kind of surprised he's not checking the bottom portals there. He would have found Turian and actually would have found the uh, meme route portal because if you remember, he never saw that. Yeah, he didn't. So I'm a little surprised that he's not going for it. I guess he doesn't need it. But if he hasn't seen Turian, it's a little strange. Yeah, I mean, finding portals in these things is always, you know, of the utmost importance, I think. Maybe not the utmost importance, but, like, you don't want to be, like, leaving a bunch and then doing a bunch of uh, clumsy routing towards the end of the seed. That's, like, one of the things that can definitely, like, you know, just add minutes to the time pretty easily. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about here for Scott. He's going to deal with this Ridley no problem now with this various suit, but you know, after that he's probably going to back of ship and hitting that croc. And then we'll see when he finds Turian. We'll see how Nitro decides to route out of this LN. We haven't really focused too much on him, but he has made quick work of Lower Norfair with the full movement loadout plus screw attack to get through everything. Yeah, let's see if we just go... Yeah, we're going straight for a reverse acid dive. I wonder if they'll go check um, Mickey Mouse room. Yeah, probably. It's a little bit faster anyways, I think. Or it's at least even. And you get the item check out of it, which Nitro really wants. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, Scott just went ahead and took down Ridley. Really nice grab on that. Great fight overall. More missiles. Man, the seed is not giving a lot of super love to yeah, Nitro. He's a missile and a super away from uh, enough ammo. 70 50 would be a good amount, but we'll see where Nitro gets that. He does have all the bubble mountain checks, as mentioned before. I'm still a little bit surprised he went to <laughs> Norfair Reserve and then only checked the first one. But yeah, the other he, we might right see him there. go back and check the other two. Yeah, the other ones are right there, and especially with his loadout, that's not a particularly uh, time-sensitive check, let's say. Uh, just seeing Fishing Boot ask in uh, chat um, if the E-Tank counter in the HUD counts E-Tanks or E-Tanks and Reserves, and it's just E-Tanks. Reserves are not a part of that count. Yeah, it is just energy tanks. So, in theory, Nitro could have found a reserve there at Mickey Mouse, which would have been pretty sad, given that he doesn't really want any more health. You know, he's not going to do any stand-up, and five tanks plus both suits is pretty comfortable. 
for Mother Brain. Especially for a runner of Nitro's caliber. There's another missile. And since this is area rando, the runners are going to be able to get a full um, a full refill on doing the uh, elevator down into Torian. All right. All right, and there's that final super pack needed for Nitro. We'll see if he goes ahead and gets any more to sort of buffer it out, or if we're just going in off of this. I think we're just going. Fescott actually also didn't go to back of ship, just went straight out and is now back here at the back of LN. So he'll have a quicker time through Lower Norfair, but Nitro already a full Lower Norfair ahead with go mode ammo. So still looking really good for Nitro. Yeah, <laughs> he actually maybe. is going back to the reserve. He want, he just wants, wants a little bit more. I don't think he checked the... Um, uh, the main street item. I would have liked to see a spark to it on the way down. There's a super though, so now Nitro's really comfortable. Yeah, this is gonna be easy breezy. Yep. Has the ice for Metroid rooms and an easy zeb skip. Plenty of ammo, gets the free refill at the elevator. Went back for that super drop anyways. <laughs> Neuron activation, seeing the shiny object, you gotta go pick it up. You gotta manage those drops, you know, by all means necessary, at all occasions. Oh, I'm not making fun of Nitro at all, I 100% would have done the same oh, thing. Oh, no, 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 I mean, I, I definitely do that all the time, thinking, yeah, it's definitely, I've done it when it's not ideal. <laughs> I see super drop, I pick it up. MM2 is all of us in this moment. Alright, making some quick work of these metal pirates with just three supers. Yeah, Fat Scott is just blazing his way through Lower Norfair right now. Yeah, Fat Scott and Nitro both having full movement loadouts for Lower Norfair. We get to see... We get to see the excellent execution from both runners shining in full force here. Okay, and as Fat Scott makes his way into Dragon's room, which is the boss at Lower Norfair, Nitro's already in West Meridian making its way through, and then out the main street entrance is where Turian is. So looking like he'll enter like at like 46, 20 or something like that. Yeah, sad that we don't see a spark up main street for the item, but as mentioned, Nitro already... doesn't need it. Yeah, 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 I think Nitro already did it though. Did he? he? Got knee tank. Yeah, I think he did and got an E tank. Or maybe that was oh, okay. Scott. Actually, that makes sense. There was one E tank in the area. No, there was not when Nitro was going through it. Now I'm even more sad because I missed it. It was a goodie. All right, Nitro's got his refill and going through. We're going to go ahead and ice these little mini Metroids. Nice work by Nitro on the Metroid Room 1. Yeah, nice work. Didn't get any super drops until the last one, though, which just feels a little bad. He's actually going to be missling one of the Metroids in Room 2, just to try to get full supers. Yeah, I found a race another that no, made a difference. Another no drop. Yeah, the, the drops are not being kind. I mean, he can always go back and refill with the door, though. Yeah, I expect him to farm the first two Metroids, and if he doesn't have full supers, just... Uh, Reset the room. No, just gonna go for all three. All right, missing one, but he had five extra, so it's fine. <laughs> that feels really bad, though. It feels worse than it actually is, as somebody who has been in this situation before. Like, he's got more than enough ammo to deal with Mother Brain. Uh, he doesn't need that extra drop, but it just feels bad not to have it, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. Alright, looking like we're going to see a baby skip attempt here, while Fat Scott is going ahead, dispatched to the boss at Lower Norfair, on his way back out the back. Baby skip looking good so far. Doing the... 
the classic baby skip. I think people are calling it now. Retro baby skip. <laughs> boomer skip. As a boomer skipper myself, till the day I die. I'm proud of Nitro. Going ahead and making the save though. Yeah. I was just trying I to think, is this is this Nitro's first save the whole game? I think he saved, like, because he had to refill the ship. I assume he saved then. Ah, I didn't quite get the taps for a speed zip skip, so I'm just going to turn off the screw attack and go for the, the easy zip skip, as mentioned. Yeah. Save an aqueduct right before, Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, trying to see after that, yeah, which makes sense. But I do remember he didn't save before checking the boss, just wanted to go full force right. on that. Which, as mentioned, was probably for the best, because if it was Ridley, he would just want to reset to pre-CF clip. Yeah, you want to get, you want to get out of that zone as fast as possible. If, uh, if you can't go forward there. Alright, 49.30, start of Mother Brain 2. Yep, he needs to hit uh, 48 missiles. That's not right. He needs to hit 24 missiles. I think it was right the first time, actually. Doesn't matter, he hit all of them, so he's got a few just, supers of leeway. I just know when the catch-up starts. You can see him shooting the supers off a little bit slowly, making sure they all connect. Yeah, there we go. Looks like we're on track. We need actual mathematician MM2 to come back and chat and tell me how many missiles Nitro needed. I think it was 48, though. He had 46 supers. MM2. So. If that helps. Or no, 44. 44. Meanwhile, on Scott's screen, we're going ahead. We're about to jump down Main Street. Scott's going to go ahead and make the spark. Yep. Well, oh, not quite. Didn't get it. Does have 40 60 ammo. So he's also got enough, but it's a little bit less comfortable than Nitro's. And I was right, it was 48. Shouldn't be making so much of a big deal about this. Wait, Scott, he didn't check the portal. I think he know he must know what the portal is at this point. It's either that or pro. Oh, uh, you know what he's doing? He's picking up the missile that was at the top of Mama Turtle because he didn't pick yeah, it up yeah. earlier. Just to have that little bit of extra leeway. All, right, well, all that missile pack is picked up. We're now entering Mother Brain 3. Just shy of 52 minutes for Nitro. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty good time for him. Yeah, really good, really good performance for Nitro. Made some gambles that paid off and backed it up with really solid execution. Yeah, and to be fair, I think Fat Scott played the seed pretty well as well. It's just that that really big gamble ended up uh, paying off for Scott or for Nitro like really well. Um, whereas Scott, like on his trip through like West Meridia. Picked up some of the other items, but then um, didn't go ahead and like check the bottom of Rust Meridia, particularly Mono Turtle, which is where Fario was. Yeah, Scott, you know, clearing through half of West Meridia, but not making it to that Varia ended up being really costly. If he had that Varia the first time he found Ridley, would have been able to route a lot better. And this would have been a very close race in that case. Well, the good Obviously, thing is, Scott this is. Had to... oh, go ahead. 
I was going to say, the good thing is that this isn't the end for Scott in this tournament. This is uh, week two out of a six-week uh, Swiss before we go into bracket stage. So Scott will go ahead and play someone else next week, and uh, we'll definitely be seeing more Super Metroid out of these two. Yep, Scott will be assuming no shambles in the final two rooms of escape. He's going Scott for will be moving down to the one and one section of the Swiss stage. But Nitro, moving on to two and zero as he finishes. <laughs> as he finishes with an official race time of 53 minutes and 46 seconds. GG to Nitro. GG Nitro. Now let's see if we can get the runners in um, for a quick interview as well. Scott looks like he is finishing his Turian now. But we are joined by the victorious V2 Nitro. GG's, how you feeling? GG's, thank you. Uh, pretty good. Uh, nothing went terribly wrong, which is pretty cool. Alright, well, you know, so we've done a lot of full countdown practice together. You know I gotta ask, what happened at... Billy what Mays? happened to Billy Mays? What happened? Look, look. Um, I, I just couldn't justify it there. I don't know. It just didn't feel right. I, I, <laughs> I, I didn't want to waste too much time. And it's only one. The power bombs are too far away. I, I just couldn't do it there. Fair enough. Fair enough. I've actually seen Fat Scott full clear this uh is it gonna refill and kill the other two zips as well that's a yeah. little strange i mean he can ice skip right yeah i was expecting him to break all the doors and refill but anyways back to nitro i guess uh how are you feeling about the rest of that route what are your thoughts on um i like everything it. That? <laughs> this is a pretty fun feed so i'm sure the you know key point here is the east meridia play which absolutely um was definitely a risk like if it's ridley it's really bad but i i don't know i just thought like the three majors there it just seemed pretty enticing to want to go for and like there's a pretty good chance it's fine you know and there's also a pretty good chance one of those three majors is varia so like it seemed like a you know good enough option to me and like with gravity just being there immediately and east meridia being relatively close because of how the red tower connected it's like i just want to go do it now because you know if it is varia there then like the seeds over you know and like Makes three sense. majors so much in east radio like i just wanted to go for it whereas if i go down green Bryn, it could like you know it could take me forever away and who knows when i get back to east Meridia at that point yeah obviously it worked out and then the back of east Meridia actually kind of routed you right where you wanted to go <laughs> yeah so uh, we are also joined by Fat Scott. GG's on the race. How you feeling? GG. Um, well, I don't think I did bad. Uh, I think I understood the C pretty well. Uh, I really just lost a lot of time not finding Varia as early as I could have. Um, and also, I don't know where Charge was. I don't know if Nitro found it, but that probably was... It had to be a croc, because I had everything else. <laughs> okay. So you didn't find it, I assume, then? Right, no, I finished ammo. Yeah, yeah okay, so, so did I. Uh, I made a big blunder at the end. I had enough ammo to just go. I don't know why I did what I did. Uh, I, I, would, I had 45-60 at the end. Um, I think that was enough, if I'm not mistaken. I think I could have just gone, but I didn't want to, like, throw at the very end. So, I don't know. It's pretty tight with 45-60. Like, it makes sense to just, like, break doors and refill. But... Yeah, doing all those ends is definitely like a bit excessive. If you're like comfortable enough with the ammo. Yeah, I don't think I would have had problems with the fight if I just mm -hmm. went, but oh well. It was only like two minutes or whatever, probably. Yeah. It's not that bad. But yeah, GG. Um Where did you find Varia as soon as you went to Meridia, I'm assuming, for the first time? Um Okay, so my route was probably a little weird. So when I hit Green Bryn, I so I got green Bryn from the top from criteria i got yeah. gravity at early super and then i immediately turned around and went back to east meridia 
and clear okay. Eastern Radio. Went to Eastern Radio first. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I thought about doing that, uh, but I ended up. I kind of did a little bit of a loop de loop uh, around, and I I eventually got to West Meridia. Um, I I checked Beach, and I forget what was there. Um, and then I speed was it beach? To, what was it? Speed. That's right. It was speed. Right. And then I went through the portal on the right side, uh, and I, I think that went to Red Brinstar, which then you could take to Norfair or something like that. I, yep. Yeah. And I just would have done all that backwards, pretty much, because I got yeah. spit out at Norfair from East Meridia, and then I did that backwards where I went from that. Yeah. East Meridia portal to Business Center, then to West Meridia, and did that down. Gotcha. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I I pretty much did East Meridia as my second to last boss because I think I had to go. No, I think it was my last boss. Um, because I had to go back around to Ridley because when I first got to him, I only had like five E tanks, and mm -hmm. uh, without high jump is a bit rough. So I just said I'd come back later. Uh, I probably lost a bit of time doing that. Yeah, yeah, my boss look was very good. All the bosses, like I didn't have to reset out of anything. I checked crate at the beginning and it was killable. I did some Meridia and it was killable. Yeah. Then I, I backed early. out of yeah. I did. I backed out of wreck ship when I first saw it. Yeah, um, I, I, I almost did. I almost did. Sure. And then I said, you know what? I'll check it. Why not? And then it was Ridley, and I was sad. <laughs> But yeah, no, that was a good seed. I don't, there was nothing, uh, this was like a fun one to route to. I really felt like I kind of understood where I was going on this one, so yeah. Yeah, I agree, this was a fun one. I do, it's kind of weird. So do you, did you end up finding Croc? I, uh, I did not. I, I assume it was a meme route? Meme or was route. It? No, meme route was a uh, crab hole in West Meridia. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I pr pretty much what I did near the end is I hadn't found Torian yet because I checked almost everywhere else, but I knew that I knew that West Meridia had to have it, so I just went back there and found it. Uh, but uh, so I pretty much just went to West Meridia after I cleared out. I think I did Nor Lower Norfair last. I think actually, I don't know. I said I did uh, East Meridia last, but yeah. Right. Yeah, this was interesting because, like, from my perspective, because I had gotten every. Um, like every area but croc and every major in every area but croc so like i knew that charge and x-ray had to be a croc but i couldn't know where croc was and it wasn't from my perspective at least i didn't think it was really worth to try and find croc because like the ammo was kind of bad for me yeah. like if i uh, like if croc is chronic for example and i just go there and get charged like it's gonna be better i think but like i just couldn't risk doing that so like i ended up doing LN front to front, because like the back of LN could have still been Croc. So uh, I know. back of LN was uh, Chronic. Okay. okay, so that's that's good. That means Croc was back of Wreck Ship, which is right. like, I yeah, consider yeah, that basically sure inaccessible. So yeah, doing ammo is the correct decision then, which is yeah. good. Yeah, no, and, and just doing Croc at all is always kind of <laughs> not the greatest. So it's yeah, the, the, this this C was really generous with supers near the beginning. It was I was just like every other ammo pickup was a super, and I was like, dang. Yeah, it was. It dried up for me like after a while. Yeah. Also, I was when it came time to like commit to ammo, I was really like regretting like having skipped all of Green Britain. I was like, man, like my ammo would probably be so much better if I had just gone down Green Britain, but yeah, it ended up working out just fine. I got two supers at the end, which was good. Oh yeah, that's good. I I um. I think I think Big Pink ended up being three supers for Scott, yeah. so that was actually really big. I think Charge had one, and uh, Charge Missiles also had one. If I, I think uh, there's also another E tank. There's something else around there, whatever. Too. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah, that was a fun race. GGS. I, I've been <laughs> full countdowns. Kind of weird, but this was a uh, this was a good one. I like the seed. Good bit. This is I I've been I've put like six mystery seeds up to this point because I've been doing a lot of map brand all as well, and every single one I've gotten was either major minor or chozo. Most of them were major minor, so I find this was my, actually my first full countdown seed. Right. But I played so much full countdown that I was like I was pretty prepared for this one. I felt pretty good.
it's been the opposite for me. Like all of my practice seeds have been full countdown. <laughs> like I, every single full one. Full countdown is my favorite mode. Uh, when there was that um that Chuzo tourney, uh, I think it was like a year and a half ago now or whatever. I <laughs> I pretty much almost always did it inside of the races because it's my favorite mode to run. I think it's the most interesting rando race setting and and with area rando as well. So I was pretty familiar with this one. I like the settings of the seed. But yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to say as well. So uh, definitely GG. This is a fun race. Yep, same for me. GG's. GG to you. Both of you. Yeah, thanks for running. Um, we've got another race uh, that just started about five minutes ago. Uh, J Row versus Lies and Gasoline on uh, Speed Gaming One, and then we've got two more matches uh, tomorrow. It's me versus MM2 Nest Cartridge, and then we also have Sal Monster versus Kip as well. And then that will wrap up uh, Week Two, and then on Wednesday, Week Three, we'll go ahead and start. Um, Want to give a shout out as well to Jester Zooks on tracking, uh, and thanks Dirt for jumping on comms with me. Uh, no problem, any final no thoughts? I think I ended up, I've casted two races, and I think they were both of Fat Scott's races. All right, cool. We'll make it a third next week, then. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up here. Um, thanks to everyone from Speed Gaming. Thanks to all the runners, comms, crew, and uh, we'll see you for uh, the next races.